Yeah. What is up, Denny's? Today we are listening to um, Black Country New Road, the album with the with the plane on it. Thank you for the request. As always, the only thing I know about this album is that it's like highly rated. Like last year, I, I saw a lot of people calling it like album of the year and everything like that. So it's weird that I didn't check it out then, but I'm glad I didn't. So now I can, you know, make a video about it. But yeah, the band in general, I'm, I'm clueless. I don't know anything about. So this is going to be very new for me, but my expectations are still very high because I know a lot of people hype this up. But yeah, thank you for the request uh, and the support and love. You guys are great. And, you know, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, let's, let's listen. Track number one is, now nah, I'm just playing. Uh, track number one is intro. Okay. Cool little first track. Uh, I'm sure the context of that will be elaborated more on track two. So uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna let that be, and we're gonna listen to the the second song right now. I feel like I've heard a lot of variety in the instruments here. His vocals are so emotional. What does that mean? I love this. I love these vocals. You know what? I compare the feeling I got from that track. Yeah, have you ever like ran down like a really steep hill? I feel like that's like the kind of emotion that put in me. That song sounded pretty progressive as well, mainly in the start. I really did enjoy the song most during the chorus. I wish I got to hear that chorus again because that was amazing. Regarding the meaning of that song, I feel like maybe he's running away from something, but he's also said that he's coming home at the same time. So I'm, I'm not really, I'm, I'm sort of confused. But yeah, I, I thought I also thought the first song really led well into uh, Chaos Space Marine. Honestly though, I think if they were combined, like conjoined as one song, I, I would have liked it maybe a little more, but I really did like that song regardless. Okay, track number three is Concord. It's like nice and chill, slow paced. I like it. And the doctor said we are unfortunately running out of options to treat. What a funny way to speak. I like where this is going. Yup, yup, yup. This staircase, it leads only to some old pictures of you. Mental hill racer, I was breathless upon every mountain. Oh, that background vocal is faint, but it's doing a lot. But for less than a moment, we share the same sky. And I 
Should have kept going. Those final lines after the like the last chorus there were amazing. I feel like this guy's lyricism is just so vivid that I can really imagine, you know, the picture he's painting here. It's so good that I barely understand the lyrics. I can barely, I barely, I, I don't even know. I think maybe he's referring to his lover, uh, to a conquer word. Lyrics about growing old together. I don't know. I'm paying more attention to how the track made me feel and it made me feel really good. And I cannot wait to actually like do some research into to the deeper meanings of all the different lyrics on here because that was a that was a lot okay track number four is bread song different vibe completely you already don't care that i tried my best to hold you to the headset that you wear and as tired as I and I hung some good pictures well The paintwork was perfect So no one could doubt it Oh, I was still losing This guy has me on the edge of my seat I'm not, I'm not kidding Oh my So Chill, chill, relax, relax. It's so peaceful but so tense at the same time. Yo, who is writing this? You furnished your suffering And you played a good I like that percussion a lot Over where the signal's good There's no way to save your evening now Keep your toes in my bed I believe that the instruments there were kind of acting as a companion to him. Really try to show what he really means and show like the emotion in what he says. That's why we don't really get a, get like a climax on this song. Even though I did climax a few times, maybe the person he's in a relationship with is kind of the pilot of this concord. Maybe their relationship is a concord uh, based on the lyric... Um, I tried my best to hold you through the through the headset that you wear, because I, I guess I, I think I think pilots wear a headset, so maybe that's kind of what he's referring to. The line about the crumbs getting in the bed, man, that that ruined me. That ruined me. I thought that song was beautifully written. Every song so far, the songwriting has just been outstanding. All right, track number five is Goodwill Hunting. Uh, I heard it's a good movie, and I've never seen it though. Okay, T T H X. Raised edge, hands out the buttons Slipping you, almost grab mine But you find your feet And I never wanted so much someone to fall And you teach me to play the piano 
I have no idea what he's talking about. That is the second Billy Eilish reference. Teasing me, bro. And message me if you change your mind, darling. I'll keep fine. Everyone will say it was cool. This dude is this dude is such a pushover, man. He is willing to do anything for this girl. It is clear that within this relationship, he is the one that is emotionally dependent on her. I'm getting the vibe that she's kind of wearing the pants here. I felt like the production of that shot was going in a lot of different directions as well. Uh, the pace kind of sped up and slowed down to different parts. I really did like that song. Okay, track number six is Haldern. <laughs> I thought she was digging holes. Where are we at now? I never want you to see that much. Everybody's down there beneath me. Oh my god, dude. This is some this is crazy. Seems like that song he might have been facing some sort of rejection, perhaps. In the first couple of verses, he's kind of willing to be there and show a commitment. In the end, I think she eventually hurts him 
And, you know, at the end of the song, she's trying to comfort him about her hurting him. The push-pull method that all these songs are doing on me is working. Instrumentally and lyrically, I am just there. The whole song, I'm just locked in, I'm listening. Track number seven is Mark's theme. What are you blabbering on about? I like that little interlude. Uh, I like the atmosphere of it too. I felt like I was within the studio with them, just based on the few sound effects that I heard. Track number eight is the place where he inserted the blade. Show a little piano here. Say broccoli like that. Are you good? Yo, fuck this bitch.
I am fucking baffled. Um. Uh, yeah. I'll say it before and I'll say it again, man. This guy's willing to do anything for this girl. Even, you know, like, impossible tasks. The, tr- the, the, the line that he says, uh, I tried to stroke your dreams better, but I see that you weren't really sleeping. Like, that, that is crazy. That is crazy, bro. Who is he, who is he talking about? This must be the devil. Yeah, that was easily my favorite so far. Like, that was the, that was, no doubt, my, the best song on here so far. Like, do you know the scene from Spongebob where King Neptune, like, makes a burger and he eats it and he's like, damn, that's so good. I want to eat it again. So he spits it back out and eats it again. That's what I want to do with this song a couple hundred times. All right, track number nine is Snow Globes. Starting off very long. I like that long start. drums are out of control. It's just like I can't. They should have. They should have put that song in track eight, uh, separated because that I, I, now I'm just musically and emotionally drained. At first, I was wondering like when the vocal started, like why does this need to be nine minutes? But now I understand. Now I get it. I don't know what it has to do with his relationship, like entirely. Like I'm not sure. I think maybe Henry is referring to King Henry and maybe how he is during times of war, based on you know how. Snow globes need a lot of force to kind of, you need to shake up a snow globe for it to move. I don't know what perspective the narrator is taking in that song. Yeah, I'm overall confused, so I might do some research on it uh, and find out more about that song. But instrumentally, though, that and his vocals, they just, they fucked me up. All right, track number 10 is a long one. Uh, final song, Basketball Shoes. I like this so far. I, I like what the bass line is doing. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, bro. I'm... Tears the house to shreds 
finds the night as such. And I'm feeling kind of normal with the pack lunch, train rides don't hurt much these days. We're all working on ourselves and we're praying that the rest don't mind how much we've changed. So if you see me looking strange with a fresh style, Full on erection right now, Charlie. What did you do to this man? I, I don't. I don't know what Charlie we're talking about here, but what did you do to this man? He says your generous loans to me, your crippling interest. I think he might be referring to someone here about uh, what what they owe him after you know he's given so much to them, or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it's kind of you know crippling on him, and it's too much for him. They, like their their interest is too much for him. There are so much depth to these lyrics that I have to like dive into like by like my by myself in a dark room alone because I feel like I'm missing just most of the, of this picture here. I need to re-listen to this whole thing immediately and do a deep dive on what all these song what all these words really mean because I think I have a broad uh understanding but not really. I I wish I knew 
about this a lot more. The way that Track ended his vocals, they were so powerful. They were so intense. This was one of the most creative ways to tell a love story that I've ever heard. Uh, I don't know if every song was about a particular love story that related to each other, but his songwriting and his vocals just have so much power and emotion to them. It's like every word he says is worth kind of thinking about in a deeper meaning. He's not really wasting his breath on anything. This album was also sounding very progressive in his production, kind of aiding him uh, on mostly every song to his benefit. Just wonderful sto storytelling, man. Favorite track on there has to be where he inserted the blade easily. Least favorite track, I don't really have one, to be honest. Maybe the track Maybe the intro, <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm definitely curious. I want to learn more. I might listen to, to the, the live version of this, or maybe I'll, I'll even check out their debut album. Maybe there's more context on there. But yeah, this guy, man, I hope I hope uh, that girl reciprocates your love, and I hope maybe in, in, in your next relationship, you can wear the pants. Yeah, very dependent. Uh, very dependent. But yeah, I, I, I loved the, the sound of this a lot. I love this album. So yeah, that was the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any other recommendations or requests, I will be glad to do them. Uh, I will be talking about all the albums I do on in a later date in a bigger list video, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you for all the support. I will catch you later.